Hello and welcome to SL Productions and my review to Doctor Who Resolution for 2019 New Year's Day special for Doctor Who, written by Chris Chibnall and directed by Wayne Yip. So yes, I have not filmed a video since Christmas Day, so sorry about the long wait between my Christmas haul and this video. I'm sorry, I was away so I wasn't able to film a review to Resolution. Did manage to watch Resolution. But I couldn't film a review as I was too busy. So yes, here it is. Here's my review to Resolution. So yes, what is my overall thoughts on this episode as a whole? So yes, I really did enjoy Resolution. It was a perfect balance between sci-fi and action. You know, series 11 episodes have had a bit too much talking. This episode was just right. There was a lot of action, but there was also a lot of science stuff in this episode, which I really liked. It felt really sci-fi, the story, and it felt... I like a movie more like, it felt more like a movie this episode, as movie like Doctor Who has been since the day of the Doctor in my opinion. So yeah, that was great about this episode. So yes, what did I like about this episode as a whole? So yes, I did like the Daleks returning the story, I thought it was about time the Daleks returned, as they hadn't made a proper Dalek story since The Witch's Familiar and The Magician's Apprentice in 2015, so I, was, I thought it was about time the Daleks returned to Doctor Who. Yes, they did appear in Hellbent, the pilot, and Twice Upon a Time, but they're not pure Dalek stories, so I'm glad the Daleks did return for this story. Also, I liked Ryan and Graham's character development with Ryan's dad returning. I thought the scenes between those characters were great, really did like their development, and yeah, Ryan's dad's character arc from going from, you know, a dad who doesn't care about his son to a dad who does care about his son. So yeah, that was a good arc within this episode, a good little subplot to this episode. Really did like that. Also, the action in this story, like I said earlier on, was great. I loved the scene where the Dalek attacked that military compound. I thought that was a really cool scene. And the scene as well, when that Dalek mutant is on the back of Ryan's dad's back and it gets pulled out into a supernova even though Ryan's dad should have burnt alive when he was exposed to the sun. Probably the TARDIS was protecting him or something like that. But surely the TARDIS would protect him from getting pulled out. So yes, a negative dare. Surely the TARDIS wouldn't have let Ryan's dad get pulled out of the TARDIS anyway. So yeah, that is a negative Chris Chibnall. Get your facts right. You're the executive producer of Doctor Who. You should know how the TARDIS works. So yes, that is about it for what I liked about this episode, but what did I not like about this episode? So the first thing I didn't like was the CGI. I did not like the CGI in this episode. Some parts of the CGI were good. I loved the Supernova CGI, the mutant Dalek thing. That was great CGI. However, the Dalek, the Dalek itself was really bad CGI. You could tell it wasn't there. You could tell it wasn't there. It looked completely unrealistic, especially when it flew in to the GCHQ place and it just came in. It looked like a game. It looked like that Dalek game, which was released in 2010. That's how unrealistic the CGI looked. The CGI was not great for the Dalek in this episode. So yeah, didn't like that about this episode. And yeah, the next executive, no Doctor Who until 2020. Yes, we will not be getting an episode of Doctor Who until 2020. You know, it could be the 31st of December 2020 for all we know. It could be then. It could be almost two years until we get an episode of Doctor Who. Hopefully it is the 1st of January, so there's not that long to wait. There's only a year. There's plenty of things to do in 2019. You know, Game of Thrones Series 8 is coming out and Stranger Things 3, which I'm really looking forward to. So yeah, that should fill the gap. Also, Big Finish, there's loads of audios for that coming out as well. I don't listen to a lot of Big Finish, but, you know, if you want more Doctor Who, listen to Big Finish, because that's the closest you're going to get for Doctor Who. Also, classic Doctor Who stories as well. I am going to complete every single classic Doctor Who story by Christmas. You know, I've had a few of the DVDs for a couple of years now, and I still haven't watched them. Some I get and I watch straight away, but others are still waiting on the shelf to be watched. So yes, I better get round to watching those as well. Also, I like the opening for this episode. I thought that was a great opening montage. I really like that. Felt really like a movie. So yes, I like that about this episode. So yes, that is the end of this video. And until the next time, Goodbye, and a Happy New Year.